In this video, I want to show you um, something I just got. It's called, it's by U.S. Art Supply, but it's actually made in China. But U.S. Art Supply seems to have very nice items. I'm a sketchbook um, or sketch box container person, and I just noticed this one has this one. So the bad part is they ship it in a cardboard box in a Tyvek type envelope. The good part is um, it was only about, I don't know, $26, $27. And it's called the Solid Solana Adjustable Wood Desktop Easel with Drawer. And you can see what it looks like there. 13 and 3 eighths wide, 10 and a quarter deep, and 2 inches high. Um, but let me show you, so I didn't realize there was a ding in it, and, um, which I'll sand that out, and I'll tell you why I got this. I have, uh, plenty of sketch boxes and easel boxes and all kinds of stuff, but the reason I got this is for calligraphy. So on the back here, you have an adjustable hinge that you can put at different Height. So let's put it there. And that's the perfect angle for calligraphy. This folds down. Now, I used to have, um, and I don't know if I pronounced the company name correctly, Levenger or Levenger. I used to have uh, a, a similar item from them, a little bit bigger, that I paid, I don't know, 150 or maybe even $200 for. And it was... Um, it didn't have the box part. This is like, I think it, it might be $29. So it's a little bit more than um, just a sketch box, but like $3 more. You can get a sketch box for about $26. So there's a little clasp over here. It's got a, um, it looks like a fake leather handle, but it's a very sturdy handle. And you have to pull it out by the sides, or underneath there's a little, um, like, thumb hold to pull the drawer out. And I, I don't want to put the phone down. Um, it comes out very easily. It's just that I only have one hand, and the lock locked again. So let me unlock it and pull it out. And they give you, look at this, a wooden fillet and storage. So if you do sue me, you can keep your brushes and your ink sticks. And probably, depending on the height, your ink stone right there. Or you can keep pens and, um, like, Kohenor Ultra Draw ink comes in flat bottles. You could keep a two or three in there if you wanted to use that kind of an ink. You'd have to have some kind of a, a different, um, some kind of a little like water pot or an ink pot to put the ink in. Um, I'm not sure which way I'm going to use the drawer part yet, which pens I might put in there. But this is, so then you lock the latch back up and the drawer closes, locks. You fold this up by that, folding into that section. You put this down, and you lock it. And you take it anywhere. Well worth the money. Now, um, because I'm packing and downsizing and... Um, this looks like it's a plywood top, um, and with calligraphy, obviously, you don't want this kind of a nick in the corner, and you don't want that there. So I'll sand it out. Um, it's made in China. It's not going to be made in America quality, but for the price, um, whether I use it, I'm thinking of using it um, for stationery as well letters to veterans so i could keep in there um you could put your sealing wax 
your glass pens. I mean, it's just a nice little box. I'll put, I got it at Amazon. I'll put the link in the information section. Um, when I got rid, I sold that other board I was talking about, and I used a masonite board that I had uh, put a, a, a special rubber cover on to do calligraphy because it's the angle that you're holding the pen. But then if you want to do um, like stippling, then you have a drawing surface right here. And the other thing they market it as is a uh, book stand, which I think my other table was marketed that way too. Because you can put a book there and read a book. It's a book stand. Very nice. 